the last uh, uh, batch. And um, no, I think the parents can take great heart because they are out of Sumi, uh, which is really the battlefront there in the, in the northeast of the country. And uh, they are, you know, the Russians have made it clear, well, the Russians say that they don't have an intention to occupy the whole of Ukraine, you know, that they have some certain targets. So this, they're now getting towards the west uh, of Ukraine, which is not an area of focus, um, you know. Um, so you're not going to, you know, the bombings and all these other things of that part. So, so the parents can, I think, uh, breathe a sigh of relief uh, that they are getting out of the theater of the real conflict. So, you know, they're both our friends, you know. So our position was essentially this. We recognize the territorial integrity of Ukraine. We recognize the sovereignty uh, of Ukraine. And we are all members of the United Nations. And the United Nations has certain rules and regulations that we have all bought into. And one of them is non-aggression, you know, uh, against a country, you know, uh, unless it's in self-defense or something, you know. And this was not a case really of obvious self-defense. And, um, you know, we felt that, you know, the dialogue should have been prioritized, which was ongoing, and um, that diplomacy, you know, should have been uh, uh, allowed to continue. So, um, so, you know, our position was that urging Russia to withdraw, you know, and uh, which was a, res a, a resolution that came up in the United Nations, you know, uh, and we supported that. Then also, we do not believe in the breakup of a country.